Hello there, my beautiful friend. Day number 30. You should be so proud of yourself for not only showing up for 30 days, but putting in the work. This has not been an easy 30 days. So like I said, you should be extremely proud of yourself. So fun thing for today. Aloha means presence and breath. So we're going to say aloha means the present of the presence of breath. How fun that I discovered that just reading through some yoga literature and it was talking about aloha and aloha in Hawaii is used as a greeting and a farewell. And I thought that was fun because Namaste is used the same way. People are greeted with namaste as they are left with the farewell of namaste. So I thought that was really cool how those things are kind of connected. We are going to start seated. So if you want to grab a block, we're going to do some pranayama first, getting our bodies a little bit warm before we get moving. So if you want to grab your block, get your sits bones up on it creating some room within the body and then coming into your most beautiful seat. We're going to start with our breath of fire. So this is a very sharp inhale, exhale. And we're snapping the belly button back towards the spine. The inhales will come automatically. And we can do this fast or slow. So I'm going to start us off, and then you go with the pace that suits you best. We'll do this for about 60 seconds, and then we'll all sit in silence for just a little bit before we begin moving. So we're going to go ahead and take a big inhale. And here we go. Sitting here noticing the feelings, the energy that we just worked up. Maybe a tingling sensation somewhere here. Wherever you are, you can butterfly those eyelids back to open. We're just going to start with some shoulder stretches. So this flow is going to be all about eagle. So let's go ahead and start with some eagle arms. So this right hand is out front and this left is going to wrap around the right. Now, if you can bring your fingers to the palm of your hand here, fantastic. If not, that's okay. We're going to inhale to lift these arms up and exhale. We're going to round. We've done this before, so this should feel semi-familiar. Inhale, we lift and exhale, we round. Let's do one more with this side. Inhale, lift and exhale, we round. Beautiful. We're going to come in with cactus arms. Nice, big, and open expansion here. And on the exhale, we'll come back around. Left hand on the bottom, and the right will wrap. Beautiful. Once you find your ego here, we're going to inhale to lift. And the exhale folds us. Inhale, we lift. 
and exhale, we fold it out. One more, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Beautiful, open up, cactus arms here again. And exhale, we'll release left hand plants beside and the right hand up and over. Beautiful side stretch here. And we're breathing. We're not holding or clenching the breath. Inhale back to center, right hand plants, left hand up and over. Inhale brings us back to our center here. We're gonna remove the block and come through all fours. So go ahead and meet me in your most beautiful expression of all fours here. Stacking those hips over the knees, shoulders are over our wrists. Let's go ahead and take a few rounds of cat cow here. Inhale, the chest drops. And on the exhale, we round. Gaze goes in between the feet. Inhale, lift. And I'm going to let you have at it. Matching up that movement with the breath here. We've learned so much this month. Peeling away all the layers of ourselves. And I hope that you feel so much better living in that body of yours. Knowing we have everything we need right here and right now. I'm going to take one more round wherever you are and we'll all meet back in our neutral tabletop. Beautiful job. Let's go ahead and thread the needle. Right hand sweeps up. You can take the gaze to follow it. And then we thread this through the left coming onto this right shoulder. Left hand can sweep up towards the sky. You can have it out in front of you. Or you could try to find that right thigh, whatever feels best for you right here today. And we're breathing love into all of our tight areas here. We're noticing where is our effort and ease, our stirra and our stuka. Where are we putting forth our effort? What are the thoughts like? Do we have clean, positive thoughts towards self? Left hand plants, right hand sweeps back up. Twinkle those fingers. And then it comes back to the mat. Beautiful left hand sweeps up. And we're going to thread it through the right side here, coming onto that left shoulder. Right hand can be up overhead, or you can find that left thigh. Whatever feels the best for you here. Noticing the tight areas and then sending the breath there. Slow as ever, we release and this right hand comes to the mat, left hand up, twinkle those fingers, and release. Let's go ahead and walk the knees back just a little bit, hands come slightly forward, we're coming in for our puppy here, allowing the chin or the forehead maybe to kiss the mat here. Pushing through the shoulders, we're not dumping or collapsing here. Beautiful shoulder stretch. (sighs) 
slowly we're going to push back to our heels coming into a kneeling position here let's take our neck rolls right ear right shoulder chin to chest left ear left shoulder all the way back and let's reverse it left ear left shoulder chin to chest right ear right shoulder all the way back and back to center <sighs> beautiful we're gonna walk the hands back forward tucking the toes and in the hips up and back coming in downward dog go ahead and pedal the feet out first down dog of the day your legs may feel a little tight here and that's okay we are here to stretch them out and get them loosened up once it feels good, you're going to come up onto those tiptoes. Big bend in the knees, trying to get the thigh to touch the belly. Beautiful stretch in the shoulders. We're going to hop, step, jump, tiptoe to the top of the mat. However you want to get there. Inhale, half lift. Long, lengthen spine. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we'll root to rise, peeling ourselves all the way up. Rolling the shoulder blades down the back body. Head and neck come last. Oh yeah, inhale those arms up, exhale, it slides through the sky, forward fold, half lift, and we plant the hands, step the feet back, lower down the knees, and then the chest, and then the chin, roll through, cobra, everybody pushes back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and wrap this right leg around the left. Doesn't matter what it looks like or how the wrap goes. We're going to pivot onto this right hand and this left foot. Left hand goes up towards the sky and maybe reaches towards the front. Breathing here. We're going to have the left hand plant and then we're going to pivot around on this foot. So if you want to bring this right toe to the mat, that's fine. Otherwise, you can wrap it into our eagle legs here. Bring in the right arm into our cactus. Breathing. We're not holding or clenching that breath. Maybe what it see, feels like to try to straighten through that left leg as much as possible and straighten through that right arm breathe slowly we plant the right hand unravel the legs beautiful roll forward plank take the gaze forward push forward lower down push up into our upward facing dog everybody meets downward dog oh yes so nice now this left leg's going to wrap around the right once again, no matter how it does it, we're coming to the left hand, right side, pivoting on that right foot, and this right hand up towards the sky. Breathing. Holding or clenching that breath. And right hand plants, we're pivoting around. Maybe this left toe meets the mat or takes the total eagle wrap. Choice is yours. Cactus arm with the left. Chest is radiating here. Maybe seeing what it feels like to straighten that leg. It's not going to come all the way straight. It's just a general direction and straightening that left arm. Smiling. Left hand plants, unravel those legs, and let's vinyasa. We're going to roll forward into our plank. Look forward. Push forward, lower down. Push up, up dog. Everybody meets downward facing dog. Oh, yeah. We are going to hop, step, or jump to the top of the mat. Bring the booty all the way down, and then we're going to come to our backs. <sighs> okay, 
We're gonna do eagle laying down before we do it standing up. I always find this very useful. So we're gonna wrap the right leg. So right hand and right leg are gonna be the ones getting wrapped, okay? So if you can't do full eagle legs, that's okay. Just wrap that left leg around the right, like we're crisscrossing. All right, and then maybe coming in with the arms. Remember, our right hand's down, left is the one wrapping, okay? Once you get into this position, I want you to breathe. I want you to hold this for just a second. This is an immediate bond. The thoughts can be wicked wild here. But let's try to use our power and our courage to control those thoughts. There is nothing wrong here. Nothing is happening. We are fantastic. We're going to try to arc through the spine here. So it's going to look like this. We're trying to bring the hands to the mat, the feet to the mat, and then we'll crunch together. It's lots of fun. We extend and then we crunch. So let's do this a few times together. Crunching and extending feeling the stretch, this compression in the body, noticing the thoughts that come up here, taking control of the thoughts. And wherever you are, let's crunch one more time. And then we release and slowly unbind ourselves. Let's go and take a happy baby here, grabbing the outer edge of those feet. If you want to find some stillness, find stillness. Otherwise, you can straighten the right leg, play with the left. Just have some happy baby fun here. Yeah, before we do eagle on the other side. You beautiful yogis working on yourself. It's fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and bounce to the other side. So this time we're wrapping around the left. So right leg wraps around the left and our right hand wraps around our right arm. Okay, let's feel into this position first before we start with the movements. Just making sure that everything is good. You feel good. Nothing is pulling, no sharpshooting or stabbing pains. And inhale, we expand. And the exhale, we crunch. Oh, yes. Inhale, we expand. Exhale, we crunch. Oh, yes. Do a few more of these. Crunching. Expanding. Oh, yeah. Letting the body know that this is okay. So maybe when we try this standing, it will be like, okay. One more crunch here and slow as ever we unbind ourselves coming back through our happy baby here you rock star you are and we're going to cross these legs rock ourselves up plant the hands and kick the feet back plank look forward push forward lower down Push up, up dog. Let's meet downward dog. Once you get here, right leg sweeps up. Three leg dog. Roll it forward. Step it in between the hands. Pivot on that back foot. Windmill these arms open. Warrior two. Big smiles on faces. Whew. Right elbow, right knee, left hand up and overhead. Left hand plants beside right foot, pivot on back foot, right hand sweeps up. Revolve Skandasana, pivot on those outside edges of the feet. And here we are, beautiful outer IT band stretch. Back around triangle, straighten through that front leg, square the hips off here. And we're going to step it back, down dog. Let's go ahead and roll forward into our plank. Look forward. Push forward. Lower down. 
push up, up dog. It's all meat, down dog. Fantastic. Left leg sweeps up, three leg dog. Roll it forward, step it in between the hands, pivot on that back foot, windmill, open warrior two. <sighs> Big smiles here. Left elbow, left knee, right hand up and overhead. Right hand plants, pivot on back foot, left hand sweeps up towards the ceiling. Mm, beautiful stretch. Pivoting around these to these outside edges, coming in for our revolve skandasana. Whew, yes. Pulls on those outer IT bands like they're not there and they are and it hurts and that's okay. We send that love. We talk good to the body. We know we'll get there one day. All it takes is our tapa, our discipline. Come through our triangle here, straighten through that left leg, squaring off those hips. Big breaths. Frame that foot and step it back down dog. Let's vinyasa, roll forward into our plank. Look forward, push forward, lower down. Push up into our upward dog. Everybody meets me, child's pose. <sighs> yes. Just taking a breath here. Beautiful. Go ahead, come through all fours, tuck in the toes and send these hips back on those toes. Beautiful little toe stretch here. We're not gonna be here too long. Just feeling that stretch. And now we're gonna try to come to standing. If you wanna just put your hands on the mat and stand, be my guest. Otherwise, we're gonna try to bring our hands out center, come into this little squat, and then we'll rise up. Oh yeah, just a different way to get us to standing. Now we're gonna take eagle here. So first things first is finding that dristy point. Where are we gazing at? Where are we gonna concentrate this focus to keep the balance? We're going to do the same things that we did laying down. We're going to start with the right. So everything will wrap around the right the first time. We'll do some knocking on heaven's door and then we'll wrap the left. So we're going to root down through this right leg here. Okay. Picking up the toes, really spreading the feet. And then slowly we lower them down to get that beautiful grip through the mat. Okay. So we're going to shift the weight to the right and wrap this leg. Bend in that right knee. Now, if you want to bring this left toe to the mat like this, this is beautiful. This is still getting the same kind of stretch, okay? If you can wrap it all the way around, wrap it all the way around. Right hand, left wraps. Finding that gazing point and not losing focus with it. And we're breathing here. <laughs> we're not holding or clenching that breath. We are thinking mild, wildly happy thoughts about ourselves and our journey to this point. One more round. And slowly release. Oh yeah. Let's take some knocking on heaven's door. Y'all know I love this so much for so many reasons. Nice bending through those legs whenever we hit the hips. Eagle is probably one of my favorites. I remember that I used to not be able to get into Eagle. And so that's why I like to offer the variations because my legs used to not be as easy to wrap. Okay. Shaking that all out. Got that energy moving here. So now we're going to go over to the other side. 
So once again, grounding through that left foot, picking up those toes, spreading them, putting them down slowly and gripping. Got a firm grip through that left foot. We're gonna wrap this right one around. Like I said, if we wanna bring the toe, this is beautiful, same sort of pose. Finding that gazing point, left hand, and then the right's gonna wrap around it. Do not lose your dristy here. Maintain the gaze. And if you fall, it's okay. We just come back into it. It's not a big deal. This is a hard position. Especially just to stand here and breathe through it. One more round wherever we are. Slowly we release. Let's go ahead and take that knock in one more time on each side. Oh, yes. You should be so happy with yourself right now. And I really, really hope that this 30 days has done wonders for you mentally. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and come to the top of the mat. We're going to rock and roll here. So coming down onto our backs, finding that playful child within us. Allowing the feet to kick over. Beautiful spinal massage here. And we're all going to meet on our back. Let's come into happy baby. So pulling those knees to the outside edges here. General direction is towards the armpits. That's just a general direction. They're not going to get there. Mm -hmm. And Come in for Shavasana. If you just want to take traditional Shavasana with me, be my guest. Or you could grab a block and take a heart opener here. It would be fantastic. Slowly begin to deepen the breath. Bring in the awareness back into the present moment. Wiggle in the fingers and toes. Maybe taking a big overhead stretch. Before we roll into our fetal position. And then we'll push up and meet. And our seat to Kasana here. Bring your hands to heart center. Mm. May you receive all the benefits of this lovely practice. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.
Mm. I cannot express my gratitude and appreciation for you enough. I really hope that you stick around on the channel. I have over 300 yoga flows and classes, and I would love for you to stick around. Of course, I will create another 30 days of yoga because it's one of my favorite things to do. I hope that you really enjoyed this. Please do comment, share this, like it, let me know. What do you want more of? What did you like most about this 30 days? How can I help you? Thank you, thank you, thank you.